Hi everyone, it's Scott, Semi Elite Knight for the ControllerOnline.com, and this is the Dark Souls boss strategy for the Ornstein and Smo fight. Now, these two will probably represent the most hated boss fight in the game, and one that I personally had a lot of trouble with. That is until I figured out how to approach it. The way this fight goes, uh, you'll have to fight both of them at the same time, and then when you kill one, the other one will use his soul to charge themselves up into a giant form and you'll have to fight them again and they'll have a full health bar so there isn't too much of a strategy to the first part here you just want to take out one of them uh... don't bother even attacking the other and i'm gonna recommend that you take out smo first because the giant forms uh... ornstein is the easier of the two and I'll show you how later. So when you have to fight both of them at the same time, I would just try and move around a bit and separate them. Get your licks in when you can. They're really not too hard. They don't have too much health at this point. So go two hand when you can, hammer away. So when you drop Smo, Ornstein's going to come over and power up. So here he is, twice the size and with full health once again. What you're really going to want to do, and it might seem counterintuitive, but you want to stick close to him. He only has a couple of attacks that can even hit you if you're hanging out down in his feet. See that one will go right over you. The only one you really want to watch out for is when he jumps up and falls down on his butt and shoots lightning everywhere. This one right here. And I didn't get away in time that time. But when you see him jump up you have time to roll away. See, there you go, and then you, you want to run right back in and keep beating on him. And he can't do very much damage to you from this, this perspective here. See that he can't hit you with because you're down in his feet and his spear is too long. That one he can hit you with. This jump back one, if you, as long as you stay really close to him, he's not going to hit you with that either. So if you stick with this strategy, you'll go from a boss that probably took me 20 tries to beat the first time to doing it all at once. Now don't get me wrong, you're still going to have to be careful. But I think it's pretty easy for you to see why you want to stay close to him. Attacks like that he can't hit you with. And he has a number of ones that he'd be throwing at you if you were far enough away. And there you go. One of the hardest boss fights in Dark Souls made easy. Now you can grab this stuff, get out there, and keep collecting those souls.